Hey everyone, Dylan Schumacher, Citadel Defense, and today we're gonna paint this. If you haven't seen paint videos from me before, this is how we do it. I'm gonna take the buttstock all the way out to make sure we get paint on the buffer tube. I painted them with the buffer tube in before, and then it looks kind of weird when this is still black. So I take my uh, stock and I take it all the way out. For this particular gun, I'm gonna tape off the grip. This one has kind of a uh, sticky grip thing on it, so I'm just gonna tape that off because I wanna preserve it. I could take the grip off, but then I would mess with that detent that is in there, and uh, that would probably come out and I, I'd probably lose it. It'd probably be bad, okay? So I'm just gonna tape the grip off. That's how I do that. I leave the safety alone. I just leave the charging handle closed. I am gonna tape off the rear sight uh, and the adjustment here around the rear sight. So that'll stay the same. Uh, this charging handle was, or this charging handle, this carry handle was on another gun, as you can tell. I'm sorry, it has some paint. So we'll just paint over it. Uh, I am, of course, going to tape off the lens of my light. You wanna make sure to do that. Other than that, I'm probably gonna leave the rest of the light and let it, let it blend in. I'll tape off the front sight, because you're gonna need that. And then I tape off the muzzle device to protect the threads. Uh, and then, you know, if I ever wanna swap out the muzzle device or whatever, I can do that. And that's real, I'm gonna put a mag in the gun, uh, close the dust cover, and that's really about it. That's how I paint guns. That's how I, I do them pretty down and dirty. I'm not taking things apart. I'm not doing a lot of complicated stuff like that. Uh, I just want it effectively painted. And I want as much of the gun to be painted as possible. So, you know, different guys will take the bolt carry groups out and stuff tape in different places. Uh, you know, I'm just, I'm just not gonna, gonna do that. We also tape off the uh, muzzle device in the end to protect the barrel because we don't want any paint getting in the barrel. I will talk about this specific build in a different video just to give you guys, again, some more ideas and more thoughts on it. But for now, Let's paint it. Okay, so it's all taped up. Uh, first thing I'm gonna do is give it this base coat with a tan. Okay, so we will let that dry for, you know, 20 minutes, an hour, something like that. Okay, so I'm going to use a dark brown here to give some striping effect. And then I have a dark green and a light green. And I will use these on these sponges and dab it to get a sponge effect. So here we go. All right, so I let this sit overnight, and uh, I think I decided I'm gonna clear coat it. I was told once you should not clear coat uh, because it'll shine in the sun. I personally haven't experienced that so much. I have one that I've clear coated and I really like it. So I'm gonna clear coat this. I'm gonna use a matte clear coat, and uh, hopefully that'll, that'll be nice. So here we go. Thank you. 
<laughs> so, here it is in all of its finished glory. Uh, you know, anytime you paint anything, it's always an experiment to see how it turns out. And uh, I, like, I like how this one turned out. This uh, one didn't turn out as haze or as distinct as I would have preferred. I think part of the problem there was with the sponge. It was really stiff when I picked it up, so I soaked it in water to give it uh, some more uh, moisture before I, before I dabbed it in the paint. And the problem with doing it that is because I softened it up, it didn't get a distinct kind of sponge pattern and just kind of mushed everywhere. And so I get kind of this amalgamation of colors and greens, which is fine. It worked out, I liked it. But I think next time I use a sponge, I will leave it dry and then just spray paint it. And then you get more of a, of a sponge effect. I've, I've done that in the past before and I like that better. So I think that will be uh, a deal I'll do next time. But other than that, really happy with how it turned out. You can try it yourself and uh, let me know how it turns out. Do brave deeds and endure. <laughs>